Hi, I'm Becky Stern. Today I'm going to show you how to create this, a color changing LED brooch. Here are the things you'll need. You can find your conductive thread, coin cell, battery, and holder in the SparkFun LilyPad e-sewing kit, but additionally you'll need uh, the LilyPad tricolor LED, three small potentiometers, the kind that you can turn with a small screwdriver, a, a tiny little toggle switch on when it's pushed in, off when it's not, and um, a pin back, a pin form, it's just a piece of illustration board with some fabric to cover it, a needle and thread, a felting needle, some wool roving, this will be to uh, diffuse the LED with some upholstery foam for felting, uh, some scissors, a hot glue gun, and I like to prototype with these uh, little alligator clips, but they are optional. I covered my template in fabric using the hot glue gun, and I glued my tricolor LED on in the center, making sure not to get glue on any of the contacts. And I also carefully super glued tiny little washers to my potentiometers so that I could adjust the colors without carrying a screwdriver around with me. So now it's time to hook up all of the components, attach the battery to the back with the uh, conductive thread. Start by sewing the positive lead of the LilyPad tricolor LED to the positive lead of the battery. Make sure you use a needle that's small enough to fit through the hole in the sewable battery holder lead. Pliers can be handy for getting the needle through the hard part of the illustration board. Stick the battery holder down with a little dab of hot glue. Then sew the switch interrupting the negative lead of the battery to the rest of the circuit. You can then sew your potentiometers on. Uh, use the circuit diagram in the blog post to figure out uh, which leads of the potentiometer to sew where. But basically you'll sew one pin to one of the LED pins and then the other one to the ground at the other side of the switch. Repeat this for all three. You can just attach your pin back with hot glue wherever you want on the back. Then needle felt a small white circle, uh, pretty thin, so that the light from the LED will still shine through and be diffused so the whole circle lights up. Optionally, you can also felt around the potentiometers uh, right in place. I used this black roving, but be careful, the felting needles are really sharp. Next, sew the pieces of felt down to the fabric on your covering your illustration board. Use the pliers if necessary. So all that was left to do was to finish sewing down the center piece of uh, felted roving which just diffuses the LED and spreads the light out more evenly. Um, and then I can uh, go ahead and turn my little knobs which changes the color of the LED. So that's it for this week's craft video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you again next time.